<laughs> At this time, we're going to have our poet master come up, Kathy Neff. She has our first poem of the day. I have my assistant today. Her name's Sally, and I'd really like to have her start coming out here to, to get to know everybody on a, on a reasonable, regular basis, okay? Um, she doesn't fight, so you don't have to worry about that. She uh, She's hurt right now, so she's a little hobbly, so bear with her. But I, want, I really felt close to this one poem here. I had an awful time finding something for Easter. Believe it or not, it was really hard to find poetry for Easter. And then I came across this one. And a school teacher, she makes, she has her third graders every year memorize it. And they even use it at their high school graduation. And this is what it says. It says, how often, now think of your own life. Think of your own life. How often we wish for another chance to have a fresh beginning. A chance to blot out our mistakes and change failure into winning. It does not take a new year to make a brand new start. It only takes the deep desire to try with all your heart. To live a little better and to always be forgiving. To add a little sunshine to the world in which we are living. So never give up in despair and think that you are through. For there's always a tomorrow and a chance to start anew. And if you haven't guessed, that was by my favorite um, poet lady, and that was Helen Steiner Rice. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now, I don't, I don't know how many of you all. Uh, we, we really, I don't recall ever having an Easter parade here in Vandalia. But I guess back in the day, it was quite the event. You know, you've got your Easter bonnets and the flowers and the floats and everything. So we thought we would go back in time. Well, with a little clip here and take it all back to the Easter parade with Ben Crosby. Your bonnet with all the frills upon it. You'll be the grandest lady in the Easter parade. I'll be all in clover, and when they look you over, I'll be the proudest of in the Easter. 